Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and shout out my boy VH1 Access. He was one of the first ones to send me this story. I've been keeping up with it. Um, if you guys don't know, the affluenza teen Ethan Couch, he has been apprehended in Puerto Vallega, Mexico, him and his mother, Tanya Couch. So what happened is about a month ago, a video surfaced online basically showing Ethan Couch playing beer pong. And part of his probation for killing four people two years ago when he was 16 years old is the fact that he couldn't be around any type of alcohol, any type of drugs, anything like that. This boy literally wrecked the lives of 15 people total. On top of the four people that he killed, he also injured 11 people in this crash where he was drinking and driving at 16. His high paid attorney was basically able to argue with the judge that the reason why he did this is because he was so spoiled and this was a case of affluenza, AKA white privilege, okay? So anyways, this young boy got out of prison time. They gave him 10 years probation. And instead of him, you know, going to school, doing the right thing, and on the straight and narrow, once again, he decides to get involved in fuckery. And he's doing beer pong and everything else. So the video ends up surfacing. They issue, a, they issue an arrest warrant for him. And instead of his mother learning from her mistakes on how she raised him, she decides to throw him a going away party. And then her and her son end up fleeing to Mexico. And that's where he's been at for the past month, hiding out in Mexico. He's changed his look. He dyed his hair. So now he's being escorted back to the United States. They say they want to wait until he turns 19 to move his case to a adult court which I think is bullshit because you had children younger than Ethan Couch who have been charged for adults for crimes that didn't even include murder. I don't understand why they have to wait to move this to adult court. They need to move this to adult court right away. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the video. Go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. When Ethan Couch was captured on the streets of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico with dark hair and a dark goatee, Texas authorities say the 18 year old had the look of someone on the run trying to change his appearance. Earlier this month, the teen was seen with blonde hair in a video that appeared to show him at a party with alcohol, a violation of his probation. Authorities say Ethan and his mother, Tanya Couch, had what was essentially a going away party the night before, driving from Fort Worth to the Mexican resort town on the Pacific Ocean. A Mexican immigration official says the pair crossed into Mexico through Tijuana. Sheriff D. Anderson says uh, Tanya Couch will be charged with hindering the apprehension of a fugitive and faces up to 10 years in prison. Her entire focus has been on making sure he didn't see any justice done, making sure he was not accountable. So for her to assist him, I felt like was just a natural next occurrence. I'm not surprised that she helped him. Not surprising to those who have seen the Couch family up close since the teen was only sentenced to probation for a drunk driving crash that killed four people in 2013. His attorneys argued he suffered from affluenza, saying he lived a privileged and wealthy lifestyle where there were no consequences for bad behavior. The victim's families filed civil lawsuits against the Couch family. ABC News obtained these deposition tapes from that case. In those tapes, Ethan Couch openly talked about his drug use. Taking Valium, hydrocodone, marijuana, cocaine, Xanax, uh, Vyvanse. I think I tried ecstasy once. And his mother talked about how she let her son drive illegally. You understood if he was, at any time he was under 16, he was never to be driving by himself. Yes. Nevertheless, you allowed that behavior to happen, correct? Yes. When's the last time you recall disciplining Ethan for anything? I don't remember. Mexican officials say Ethan Couch and his mother are being voluntarily deported back to the United States, but it's not clear when they will arrive back in Texas. Prosecutors are fighting to get Couch's case moved out of the juvenile system and into adult courts. For now, prosecutors say Couch isn't likely to face significant jail time for violating the terms of his probation. If he stays in the juvenile court, the maximum sentence he could receive is incarceration in a juvenile facility until he turns 19, which is April the 11th of 2016. That is not enough.
And Aaron, just to be clear, Ethan Couch technically has not committed any new crimes. It's simply a violation of his probation. Now, his mother, Tanya Couch, as we mentioned, faces that felony charge of uh, getting in the way of apprehending a fugitive, and she faces up to 10 years in prison. All right, so you guys just saw the video. If you guys don't believe in white privilege and wealth and power and influence, Ethan Couch is the face of that. You know, for this young man to get away with murder, literally, and then to not be appreciative of the fact that he got away with murder says a lot. I feel like he needs to go back to prison and do these 10 years, and his mother also needs to be locked up. The fact that she helped her son become a fugitive and that she funded him going to Mexico and everything else says a lot. She's not ready to change as a mother. She's not ready to do right by that boy. So she can sit her ass in jail right along with her son. Like I said, on top of him killing these four people, a total of 15 people were affected by this young man's actions, and he should have got jailed the first time. You know, when somebody gets away with something that major, then they tend to think that they're invincible and they can get away with something else. It's only a matter of time before this idiot ends up killing somebody else via either drugs and alcohol or just by being a plain evil son of a bitch. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. What do you guys feel about the whole Ethan Couch situation and him being caught in Mexico? Do you feel like he needs to do the whole 10 years? And then how do you feel about his mother still spoiling him and making excuses for him and hiding out in Mexico with him? Do you also feel like she should do some time as well? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuce. Hey, you guys. It's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.